I'm Roland Liebscherbrock, and I'm going to do a very intensive stretching and strengthening program with you and a straightforward program for your back pain in your lower back. And do the following. Feel how your back feels beforehand and afterward, because only then will you know what the benefits are and that you will be motivated to do this very, very often. Let's start. Please sit down on the mat on the floor. Put your right leg next to you if you have a mat parallel to the edge of the mat. Please move your buttocks towards your heel as close as possible, as far as you can go. Pull your belly button in and now lean backward as far as possible with your belly button drawn in. And don't get irritated. Even though you are safe up here, you are practicing exactly at your point. And you go further and further back and now release the stretch here in the front thigh into the groin. And the feeling in the groin, especially the feeling, is very, very important against your back pain. Go further and further back. Because the tension in the back comes from the tension in the front. Yes, that's the connection. That's why we first stretch everything in the front with our exercises. And at the same time, we also strengthen. You will notice that. And we start with the first strengthening. You now tense your right leg as firmly as possible into the floor. Really tense. The whole body remains motionless. Let go again and go further into the stretch. Pull your belly button in so that your pelvis moves with you. Because the effects against your back pain are particularly great then. Keep going down and then tense as hard as you can against the floor. Really tense against it. Pull your belly button in. It's going to get even stronger, do you notice? And then let go and go even further into the stretch. Breathe deeply and control your pelvis so that you really take it back and get out of the hollow back. Keep going and then slowly come out again. Bring your right leg forward. And now we do the same with the left side. You go parallel to the edge of your mat again. Move your buttocks towards the heel. Pull your belly button in and come. As far back as you can. And so weit. Remember, you can also put your hand over it to help. Perhaps then you will notice very, very well that when you go back here, you also hyperextend the whole pelvis in the hip joint. And through this, you get exactly to the muscle that has a lot to do with your back pain in the lower back. Keep going backward. Keep going backward. And use your breath. Keep going backward. Take your pelvis with you. And now press with your left leg as hard as you can against the floor. Really press hard against it. The more strength you use here, the stronger you press, the greater the strength training, so to speak, the better the effect against your back. Really press your left foot into the floor. Let go and come further back again. Keep coming back, bring your pelvis with you, and then press into the floor again with a lot of force. This is maximum strength training. 
for your left thigh. It can burn. Press a little more, press a little more, let go and come back further. Come back again further. And slowly go out again. Take the leg forward. And now we go into the quadruped. That means hands on the floor, knees back a bit. And now get out of the hollow back and come forward. Pull the groin forward so that the groin goes down and let yourself hang. And now there's a stretch in the groin. Maybe there's a stretch in the back. If there's a stretch in the back, then be happy because then you're working on the very thing that's causing your back pain. And keep letting yourself hang. Keep letting yourself hang. Enjoy. Yes. Genießen. That is actually the main exercise against your back pain in the lower back, against all this tension. That is the exercise. We stretch there and strengthen there. Keep hanging. And now you tighten your right knee as much as possible against the floor. Let go. And the right groin comes down lower. Then you... Tense your left knee against the floor without the body moving. You let go and the groin goes further into the floor. And again, press the right knee as hard as you can against the floor. Release, lower. And the left knee, release, lower. And again, the right, release, lower. And the left. Release and lower. Pull out with your shoulders. If you can't hold it, come out of it for a moment or lie down on the couch and sag on the couch if you don't have the strength in your arms. Yet, the emphasis is on yet because remember, with each workout, with each repetition, it gets better. Stick to the exercise you've been doing and keep getting better at it. Press both knees into the floor again and let go. And then we come out. Go into the counter movement again, that is, with the buttocks towards the heel, pull up a bit again, and now we go to a chair. Take a seat in the chair. And now we do the following. We put the right leg over the left. If that doesn't work, then take the strap, hook in, and pull the foot up as far as you can and work your way in with each exercise, with each exercise, with each repetition. Sit completely straight and bend increasingly. Forward when your back is straight. Bend forward more and more. And then you notice how it stretches at the bottom of the buttocks. When you go further, it stretches more and more in the buttocks, probably. Stay under the 10 on 9.5, so stay in our feel-good pain. It hurts a little bit, but it's a feel-good pain. It's an intense a strong stretch, you feel it quite strongly, but you can get through it. Okay, yes? Then you are in the right intensity. Keep going forward. And now you are actively pushing your right foot into your left knee. Really press against it. Really against it. Let go and keep coming forward. And press against it. Let go. And 
and keep coming forward. And now you round your back again and actively pull yourself forward more and more, more and more rounding and pulling forward and a little bit more. Breathe, pull a little bit more and pull a little more and then slowly come out again. Wonderfully liberating because the back often connects to the buttocks. You might know that because it often hurts from the back into the buttocks, and that is exactly what we are now freeing through the stretch. Now we start again and pull ourselves forward nicely, pull ourselves forward more and more. Let the back be straight at first. and feel how we release more and more in the buttocks. Maybe it stretches into the lower back. It certainly extends into the buttocks. Maybe in the groin, everywhere you are short, everywhere it hurts. And our pain therapy is straightforward. We stretch where it is too short, just stretch it. And the effect is the pain is gone. Simple, but highly effective as you will notice when you have finished the exercises. Yes, keep going forward. Keep going forward. And now you press with your left foot against your right knee. Really press hard against it. Press even harder and even harder and even harder. Everything tenses up back there now, but we get these muscles used to loving the greater length. Then they don't yell at us anymore. Yes. Keep pushing forward. And again, the left foot presses against the right knee. Push really hard against it. Push really hard against it. Let go and keep going forward. Breathe in nicely. And then let go and stretch out your back again, which is becoming increasingly rounded. Further and further, actively forward. And pull yourself more and more and more. And a little bit, and a little bit, and slowly out again. Yes. Now, we stay sitting like this. Now it's about the rotation muscles, yes? You don't have to know what that is, but it's very important. A very important area of the back muscles that is hardly used and therefore is totally atrophied. Like this. I now reach so far back that I can grab against the side. I can turn a bit, but I'll get caught on the backrest. If you don't have that, then hold on with your foot like this. Uh, hold on with your hand like this. And we go further and further into the turn. Further and further into the rotation. And... Enjoy that. Staying upright and going further and further into the turn. And then we turn back, we turn to the right. You can feel that anywhere on the torso or in the pelvis, yeah? Just let it stay under 10, 9.5, enjoy the feel-good pain, that we can just about stand it and bear it. Take out the power and go further into the rotation. Mercilessly and beneficially, further into the rotation. That was beautifully put, wasn't it? Mercilessly beneficial, yes? <laughs> That's the intensity we like because it takes us further and further into freedom from back pain. No more back pain. Neither in the lower back 
nor anywhere else. That's the goal, to go further and further into the rotation. Yep. And then we turn against it again. We want to turn to the right, but we hold on. We want to turn more to the right. We hold on tighter and again and tighter and turn further in. When we come forward now, the intervertebral discs are happy because they are now filling up with new nutrients. Hopefully the nutrients are good. Comment and say what uh, about how that felt and share the video and give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up. I'm looking forward to seeing how you like it. And keep going to the side until you can reach back there like this. And keep pushing into the rotation now to the right. And you notice that it always takes a while until it lets go, but inevitably releases more and more no matter how old you are, no matter how dehydrated, because you don't eat so well. No matter whether you are fat, whether you are thin, whether you are sporty, unsporty, these exercises work for everyone. That's biology. Because you don't want to be a robot, do you? On and on, on and on with you. We have to somehow lubricate the joints with oil, but that's exactly what we do naturally. We lubricate your joints and spine with oil so that everything glides and moves well. We renovate the body. Now, in this case, the lower back, so that it no longer hurts, so that the back pain finally goes away. Keep twisting, keep twisting. And now we want to counter turn to the left. Now we want to counter turn to the left more and more and more. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. And power out. Go further into the turn. Go further into the turn. Even further. And even further. And even further. And even further. And when you think you can't go any further, then go further. And then when we twist to the left again, we twist to the left again as much as we can. Twist to the left as much as we can. Twist to the left and stop twisting. And So twist against and keep going in the direction to the right. And then slowly back out. And now the discs are filling themselves up again, hopefully with good nutrients, because you're eating well. Lots of plants, lots of fresh, lots of water, lots of vitamins, lots of nutrients, yeah. Oh, and then the intervertebral discs are happy just doing the exercises. And now let's stand up. Take the strap or a belt, if you have one that fits, that is knotted like this. And now we want to go into the side. So please stand in the strap with your right foot. Stand right in there. Reach between your legs with your left hand and bring your right foot around behind you so that it is shoulder width apart, just crossed over, yes? And then take your right arm upwards and pull yourself by the strap or the belt further and further to the left. Keep pulling to the left. Breathe while doing this. Now we're going to get out practically all the lateral tensions that give your spine, your lumbar spine, lower back pain in the lower back. We want to get these tensions out through this exercises, the lateral ones. Stretch really nicely. Stretch more and more. And then we want to counter stretch, yes? We stretch the opposite. That is, the torso wants to go up. But I hold it with my left hand on the strap. It wants to go up, but I hold it. It wants to go up, I hold it. 
Then I release the force that wants to bring it up. Go further to the left. Stretch further in, always a little further. And again. I tense as if the back wants to go up. The torso wants to go up, yes? Even more, even more tension, even more strength, even more strength. Take out the strength and go further over again. Again, further over and move carefully. You see, it's extreme. If you want information about the strap, you have it here. Move a bit freely and I bet you feel different already. I don't know exactly how because I don't know you personally, but... Oh, the other way around. Now the left foot has to go into the strap. But I think you are already noticing that something is happening. Yes? Wait till we're done. Now, I take the strap with my left hand, with my right hand, and go past with my foot behind to the right so that I am standing crosswise. And I take my left arm upwards now and pull myself further and further to the right on the strap, on the belt, or what you are using, yes? Keep pulling over. Keep pulling over. Keep breathing. And keep pulling it over. The left arm contributes to the left side stretching more and more above the pelvis. Keep moving further to the right. Breathe in deeply. Continue breathing out. Breathe in deeply. Look for the feeling of well-being. Yes, it must be just bearable. Keep going. And now I want to go up to the left. I want to go to the left, but hold firmly with the right hand, with the right arm. And release the tension. Go further down. And again, I want to go up to the left. Up to the left. Tense nicely. Let go and come down still further to the right. Still further, still further, still further. And then slowly go out. And now we go to the floor again. Shake it out. We'll go to the floor again. Move slowly after these extreme stretches. And we'll stretch ourselves now. If you can't get far ahead, then pull yourself by the knees, maybe here. Or take the strap if you can't grip well. It's much easier, yes? Hang on and pull yourself by the strap. Or if you can, grab the tops of your feet. And we pull ourselves forward more and more. Breathe in. Give yourself time. And increasingly, pull forward. Deep in. Deep out. When you feel that you can go a little further back with your buttocks, then walk a little bit backward on your buttocks and pull yourself further forward again. And now pull the torso backward with your back muscles, your back extensors. But the arms prevent you from moving. And let go again and pull yourself further forward. And again, you pull yourself backward. Let go and pull yourself further forward. And again, you pull yourself backward. You pull yourself backward more. You pull yourself backward even more. The arms prevent you from going back even a millimeter. Pull even further. Let go. And further forward. And again... Pull, let go, 
Further forward, pull, let go further forward, and slowly out again, slowly go out again, and now we take the strap, take the feet forward next to each other, and We first pull the feet increasingly backward. Increasingly pulling backward. That's the exercise that everyone loves so much. <laughs> we have to remember the exercises that hurt the most. Those are the ones that count the most. And no pain, no gain. And no pain, no gain, yes. You can't get around it, you realize. That's why you have to pull further and further forward. Pull further and further forward. And then also bend your back. Then you notice a stretch in the back of the knees. But it can also stretch in the back. Increasingly. Pull up the back. There, where all this tension from the back is located, in the lower back. This is the exercise that increasingly brings out the tensions at the bottom, which were already there before, but differently, as you notice. Breathe in deeply and go a little further on the exhale and breathe in again and go further on the exhale. And breathe in again and go further on the exhale. And conquer millimeter after millimeter. 10 millimeters are one centimeter. And 100 millimeters is already 10 centimeters. That's why it's always going forward. Repeat this exercise routine once a day in the beginning and then twice or three times a week to maintain the situation. You will notice how you become more and more flexible and eliminate the lower back pain, which also means making the center of the body more and more flexible. And that's just worth it for your life. You feel completely different. That's the center of the body. And keep pulling and releasing a little bit, pulling and releasing further forward and pulling and releasing further forward. Okay, and now we go again. Entirely to the cause of the back pain, which is all the seat shortening. I mean, we've been at the cause the whole time, but now we're going at it again with a nice passive exercise with our knee hero or knee hero, what I am talking about, back hero, knee hero, we also have. But this is about the back hero. By the way, you can find information there and stretch your legs and let yourself be pulled into the stretch. If you don't have the back hero yet, stack a few books on top of each other. Yes, and lie down on them. And then we increasingly move the legs a little bit apart. Then the stretch is intensified. And now we breathe deeply in and out. And with each exhalation, you feel this area, thighs, groin, back, pelvis, and try to mentally let go everywhere where there is tension. Yes. When you have identified something that is tense, go in there with your consciousness and let it go. Then something is tense, let it go. Then something is tense, let it go. And go through this whole area. And wherever you feel that something tense, let it go. You will notice that it works. Maybe not so well the first time, but it gets better every time. You get more and more body control, more and more body awareness, and your lumbar spine is freed from tension. And that means you are free from back pain. More and more each time. Combine it nicely with breathing and let go everywhere where it is tense. 
You'll find you can do it for half an hour. You'll still find something to let go of. And that's the process you're going into now to free yourself permanently from your back pain. Again, deeply in and deeply out, and then you come out very slowly, carefully, yes? Because this is a very intense stretch. Carefully come out. Lift your pelvis. Take away your block, your books, your back saver, and come back up. And you are through. As I said, now please see how you feel. Walk a few steps back and forth. You first have to calm down for one or two minutes, then give yourself time, and you will notice that you want to have it like this again and again. If you listen to yourself right now and notice what this has done, and you feel like doing more exercises, click the link above to download our free guide to back pain. You'll discover everything you need to know about back pain and get more pain-relieving exercises you can do at home. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, yes, I can hardly imagine, but if that's the case, then you definitely have to press the subscribe button. And you can also activate the alarm so that you are informed when the new video comes. Watch another video and we'll show you more exercises and stretching routines for your back pain. Join us now. We're waiting for you. Have fun with your freedom from back pain. And bye.